Biologist Ken Balcom spent his entire adult life documenting orcas, charting their family trees. He's the last of that whole tree. Studying their habits, trying to save them. He was into whales when he was uh, just a teenager and, and into his 20s and, and has had a passion for whales and the sea all his life, as long as I can remember. Ken died Thursday at 82 years old. His family says this work was his life. His legacy is, is bringing the southern resident killer whales to the world and to the attention of the world. You see all these rocks out here. He founded the Center for Whale Research in 1985, one of his biggest efforts getting more food for the orcas as salmon populations dwindle. He was able to recognize uh, over 20 years ago that the main problem that was holding their population down and in fact led to a 20% decrease over five years, which is what ended up being uh, the uh, endangered species listing in 2005 was the lack of salmon. The last salmon that I saw was right down here. Ken told us in 2019 it was past the time to act to save our southern resident whales. I think this entire pod is uh, at extreme risk of extinction. We talked with Ken last year when the organization bought property along the Elwa River near Port Angeles to help protect the salmon that spawn there that orcas eat. We bought it for the whales. We bought it for J-Pod. As far as I'm concerned, when I move on, it's there. Ken told us this work was his passion. I feel privileged and honored that the whales have chosen me to be their agent on this purchase. I, I love the whale. They're, I feel like I'm one of them.